Breaking news. Nigerians rejoice as court bars electoral body, INEC, from using Tunubu's loyalists and Lagos Parks Committee chairman MC Ulomo to distribute election materials. The case was instituted by the Labour Party, Boots Party, and their governorship candidate in Lagos State. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. May God prosper you all. Amen. A federal high court in Lagos has granted the prayer of the Labour Party seeking an order to borrow the Independent National Electoral Commission from using the chairman of the Lagos Parks and Garages, better known as MC Ulomo, from distributing election materials in Lagos State. Justice Chuku J. Kwe Nake gave the order on Monday. The suit was instituted by the Labour Party and its governorship candidate in Lagos State, as well as Boots Party and its governorship candidate. They prayed the court to stop INEC from engaging MC Ulomo, led Park Management Committee, for the distribution of election materials and convening INEC had it had ex style for the 2023 elections. The judge granted the prayers of the applicants after INEC failed to show up for the case despite being saved. Olishegu Agbaje, the Independent National Electoral Commission, resident electoral commissioner, RUC in Lagos, had said he had no option but to work with the Parks Committee to distribute election materials and personnel in the states in the absence of the National Union of Road Transport Workers, NURTW, and the Road Transport Employers Association of Nigeria in the case. The state governor, Babajide Sanwolu, has set up the Parks Management Committee after banning the operations of the National Union of Road Transports of Workers. While responding to questions on controversy surrounding the engagement of the committee led by MC Ulomo, illegals, all Progressive Congress chieftain to distribute election materials and personnel. Abaji said the commission was only concerned about successfully handling logistics for the elections. The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, has however warned INEC not to use the Parks Management Committee, led by Ulomo and APC stewards to distribute election materials in order not to compromise the election's integrity. Abubakar, in a statement issued on February 2nd, 2023 by Special Assistant on Public Communication, Frank Shaibu, said INEC must preserve the sanity of the election and ensure that there is no room for electoral malpractice. Meanwhile, MC Olomo has publicly described himself as lawyer to former Lagos Governor Bola Tinubu, who is the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress in the February election. In October 28, I beg your pardon, in October 2018, MC Olomo in an Instagram post said Tunubu owned him and the APC and that whatever he, Tunubu, wanted was what he, MC Olomo, Olomo would support. He wrote on his Instagram page, I am an Ashuwe Jubola Ame Tunubu. Jagaban loyalist. I wear the Jagaban jersey. I have been a loyalist since 1999. The first maker I went is through his excellence in the year 2000. More so, he has done a lot for me. He made me who I am today. Our relationship has been 
was very cordial and strong in the area that I grew up in. So I am one of his loyalists that have strong belief in him. He own the party and anywhere his interest belong, I, MC Ulomo belong. I and my people in Oshodi formally endorse Ambody for second term because his government is still working in the shadow of the party, national uh, leader. But now, the case is vice versa. I have to follow the interests of Bola Ahmed Tunubu and the party decision. If Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tunubu again says, it's no more Babaji de Sangolu, but someone else, so shall it be, he said. Okay. Nigerians have this to say. In a sane country, this should be a no uh, 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 brainer. But because Nigeria of today is run like a criminal enterprise, how could a party loyalist be used to distribute electoral materials? Does this sound strange and shameful to worsen it all? And I'll be real. For that matter, what type of country are we? The idea that this remotely possible would have been crazy in same societies. The problem with Nigeria is that shame not they catch us enough. In contrast, we are very proud and confident people. If not, we would have had a revolution for better leadership a long time ago. Instead, we have been decaying since, he said. Okay, guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.